So, we're coming across another game that uh, was released as a freebie. It's called Souls, Souls Quay. <laughs> um, had trouble finding a proper pronunciation of this. Um, some said Solesque, Solesque. Um, so, the only thing I could really find was uh, there was a similar to it was a beer is named after it, but that didn't do me a lot of good. So anyways, we're going to dive into this game and see what it takes us. Friday, 1987. 1.30 a.m., a long working working day for the detective and in a case that seems to never end. As she was about to go to sleep, she remembered a letter she had no time for. Sosuke 87A, help me, sister, Jonathan. Everything about the letter was confusing. She had not seen her brother in many years. I'm glad I'm able to keep up with the wording because it's going pretty fast. <laughs> Since Hilda would not have been more able to sleep anyway, she decided to follow the letter. WASD. Go to the trunk. It's pretty atmospheric. Uh, oh, cool. So you have to actually hold in order to open and close this. If you if you move it a little bit, that's all you get. So you have to use full ranges of motion. Click the flash the left mouse button. Okay, collecting. F. is pretty cool. I'm digging the vibe so far. It's kind of like a foggy, uh, kind of like a San Francisco evening. Pixelized, but yet graphical. Okay, something fell. Don't have the ability to really pick anything up. I'm supposing this is just... Uh, the hell is that? Don't even want to know. I gotta say, the graphics are pretty interesting. It's like a mixture of, like, low-tech meets high-tech. Because, I mean, you look at the lighting and the light sourcing. It's kind of high-tech. You get it close to this. And, obviously, you see pixels and you got low-tech. Which is a pretty, pretty nice mixture, I think. Uh, <laughs> I heard the rat, and I'm like, oh no, <laughs> it's going to eat me. Something's happening. Can I go onto this? Oh, I can go onto the boat. But I just heard noises, and the curious George of me wants to go find... Oh, man. So, since this takes place in the 80s, Try this. Oh man. Uh, eh. Code required. Okay, so I'm going to have to find the code somewhere. is this I'm still really impressed with the, with the graphics I mean ultimately it's like a mixture of high-tech and low-tech and it's just uh, it's nicely done kind of a mixture of a, a melding of the two all right so what if I went up here can I climb nope can't climb door is locked okay This is very particular. What if I go over here? Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Can I jump? Can I walk up? Oh, I can. But I need something else. Since it won't let me uh, jump. It's 
It's one of those moments where it's like you're, you want to progress, but you don't know how. I know there's a clue looking me in the face. I just have to find it. Locked door. What was that? Oh, man. Just jinx myself. Whatever it just said. I wish it's it's my my mouse is highlighting something and it's causing it to to activate what are, what what is it what is it what is it, what is it? I want to go up there but obviously I don't think I can is locked. Ah, this sucks. I wish I wish I had I wish I was smarter and that I could find clues easier but obviously I'm messing up on something. I want to go up there but I can't. My mouse is highlighting something but I move before I have a chance to see what. Okay. See, something, something was dragged in there. I mean, you got your blood, you got, you know, some kind of... There's clues, I just... I'm not seeing them. Sucks that I can't jump. Interesting. Okay, so it was a body I was looking at earlier. <laughs> Whoops. Let's see if I can inspect this body. Rusty key received. Aha! Wow, okay. So I have a rusty key. That one's locked, so that one requires a code. Supposedly. Let's check the dock out first. Thought that was a footstep or something being crunched on. So let's try. Have to remember to use the the mouse to open things. I'm so used to just click and go. Okay, so we've Eight one six nine. Cool. That's the password. Anything else in here I should know about? Eight one six nine. Okay. Do 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 do. Duck down. I grab a knife. No. Nope. 
I can only imagine the smell in here. Rotting dead fish. Like, ooh. So it's going to be determined by this. Any other clues? Any other clues? Um... Well, we got the key from the guy in the wharf. These don't work. Maybe I missed something down in the uh, the door there. That's cheap trying, I guess. Ha! I don't know what I did, but obviously it was enough to get me into this part. You've seen better days. Frozen, wow. Okay, so I'm assuming this is a temperature gauge? Let's go. Okay. Key received. Uh, key will probably unlock this door. Or not. Damn. Okay. So we got a key. And that's the only door that's locked, technically. Oh. Well. Whoa. Aww. 
damn it. Try to get by. All right, fine. So something tied to this. Man, it's dark AF in here. Please don't let there be jump scares. Okay, bathroom. Another body. Liar. What made them a liar? I hate all of you. I hate how the, the text is not staying very long. Like, it scrolled something, I have no clue what. Like, son of a biscuit. Alright, so these are filing cabinets, apparently. None of them open. Dead body. They hate us all.
Ah, there we go. Jeremy, someone stole knives again and also sprayed the toilets. What is going on here? A week ago, there was a stabbed seal on the doorstep, and now this. I can't take it anymore. I've changed the cord. Go to the doors. 9926. Okay. I can't promise that's going to be what we need here, but... There we go. All right. That movie it was like one of those uh, old Resident Evil. The reason I spent so long on that is the old Resident Evil, where it's like you flip the switch, you have to get them all green. Okay. Oof. This is honestly getting a little bit more trippy and spooky. Only because, like, okay. All these bodies. The. F Did I die? Detective Hilda and her brother Jonathan both suffered domestic violence at home. Hilda fled at a young age and escaped worse. So was taken to a children's home and grew up to be a detective. Okay. Jonathan, who had stayed with his parents for a long time, became a fisherman and started killing. Huh. 1987, 11, 10, Monday. Jonathan decided to take revenge for the first of his parents and then on Hilda for abandoning him. The end. <laughs> okay, so I'm assuming there was no way to really uh, get out of that situation. This, if you know what you're doing, would be a very short game. Unfortunately, my you know, puzzly challenge self uh, took a little longer. So I guess that's Soul's Quay. Uh, it wasn't the longest of games, but it kept me engaged for a, for a hot minute and it kept me going. So I guess that's where I'm going to end this here. And I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.